Hi, I'm Beck from Bets Makes, and today we're going to make something called a sidebar bookmark card. Basically, this is a modification on a gatefold card. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a standard card, and it's going to have a little extra piece, and I've been playing with this too long, that'll have a perf mark down the side, and we can put a little design and make our own bookmark for the side. So when the recipient has long tossed the card away, they can pull this piece off and it will be their own bookmark. So all you're going to need for this is the template for this design, plus you're going to need some medium-sized cardstock, and you will this time need the maker in order to put the perf. Now if you don't have a maker and you only have an Air 2, what you can do is make little lines all the way down the side and cut those little lines to get the same perf effect. So let's get started with this. Let's uh, go over here to Design Space and let's start working on this project. So let's just click on New and we will replace my text. We're going to the Upload. We are going to go and get a file. And this file is going to be called Sidebar Trifold. And you can just click on your Upload Images. Make sure you get the SVG file. And then we're going to insert that image. Now this is how it's going to come, which is kind of neat. It's all put together this way. You'll see all these different pieces cut out, which we don't want to cut out the rows and those pieces. We want those to draw. We could select these one at a time all the way through by hitting Shift key. So we want to make sure we get all these basic cuts right here. It's part of our rows. And we are going to change those to a pen. Now you can use any kind of pen you want. Let's click on the color here. And instead of fine point, I'm going to make it a gel pen and I'm going to make it a pink just so that we can see it. And so that's a one millimeter pen and it's all set to go. Looks like we've got the pen all set up here. Now we have a couple of lines in here. We have our score line that's already set and I'm just going to come down here. Here's our score line. And then it has what they call a basic cut line right below it. Now these are already attached. So this basic cut line is where we're going to make a change. We're going to come up here to operation and we're going to change it to perforate. And now if I click away, you can see the perforation line is all together. Now in order to attach all of this together, it's a little more complicated. You'll see that some of it is already attached. So if I click on the attached part here, I'm going to detach it and then select everything together and attach it. Now the only other thing you might consider here is you might want to write a greeting. You might to put some decorations on the outside of the card. This tutorial is only going to take you through the process of making this card so that you have a detachable bookmark and then you can add some embellishments which we will do when we get to the demo table. So let's go ahead and save this and I'm just going to call this bookmark card. We're going to save it. And then we're going to make it. It's going to be fairly easy here. It's only one sheet, one mat. Looks really good. Let's click on continue. And for this one, I'm going to use a medium card stock. I already have mine preset, but if I wanted to change it, I could click on my cardstock. I could browse all materials here and find my cardstock by just typing. I'm just going to type in card and see what we get. This all the different types of cardstock that you could use. So I'm just going to click back on this one and done. And we are ready to get this cut. So I will see you over at the demo table. Well, this was a very simple project and I folded this so many times that it, it actually came off. But here is the plain card I wrote inside Happy Reading Week. And this is a detachable bookmark. So this has been perfed all along the side here. So just be careful when you fold it over. I folded mine over once too many times. But it just folds in with the card. So you can just move it over this way. I wrote a greeting on the inside, but you could also add a greeting on the outside as well. 
So I might just draw something really simple and make this a book. And uh, I'm just going to put something special. And I'm just using a gel pen from uh, Cricut. It's a 0 .08, 0 0.08 green gel pen. So I just write on it something special, nice little greeting. They open up, happy reading week. And then they can take this and take their bookmark off and use it for their latest read. This is a cute little card, so easy to do. And you can put different designs. The one that we had with the template was a floral design, but you could put your own bookmark designs. So I hope you really enjoyed just putting this together. It was really easy. Remember with the maker, it'll automatically do the perf with a perf line if you're using an Air 2 or even a Joy. You can make little dotted lines all the way down so it's easy to pull it off making your own perf lines. Until next time, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.